12.7, explore similar solids. Similar means that all of the dimensions of two particular figures are proportional, given that the two figures are the same type of figure. Like, let's say we have two cylinders. Notice the height is proportional to the height as the radius is to this radius. In this case, this radius is not proportional to this radius as this height is to this height, because the heights are the same. Not similar. Supposed to be able to tell if two figures are similar to this one, tell whether the given right rectangular prism is similar to the right rectangular prism shown at the right. Sorry, one of these two. So we have long, medium, and short, and we need to compare those to the long, medium, and short. I'm just going to do 8 divided by 4. Does this equal, question mark, the 4 divided by 2, and does it equal the 2 divided by 2? Obviously, it does not, because 8 divided by 4 is 2, and this is 2. But this is 1, so these are not equal, which means this is not similar to it. But on the other hand, 6 divided by 4, is this equal to 3 divided by 2? And is it equal to 3 divided by 2? It's just the long, medium, and the short divided by the long, medium, and the short. This is a yes, it is. All right, talking about the Next theorem, which is the ratio of the sides in the first dimension, the ratio of the areas here, and then the ratio of the volumes. Notice the ratio is singular, squared, and cubed. The cans shown are similar with a scale factor of 87 to 100. Find the surface area and volume of the larger can. Notice the surface area of the smaller can is 51.84. That means that we have to find the surface or the area ratio, which is 87 squared over 100 squared. And this is equal to some unknown uh, surface area. Take this, do your algebra, 100 squared times 51.84 divided by 87 squared. And you get a side, uh, surface area of the bigger one to be roughly 68.49. And this is inches squared. And do the same thing for the volume, but instead of doing the squared, we do cubed. 87 cubed over 100 cubed. And this is equal to 28.27 inches cubed divided by some unknown uh, volume. And I'm just going to call it V. So we got 28.27 times 100 cubed, carat 3. And all of this is divided by 87 carat 3, which is cubed. And I get volume of approximately equal to 42.93 inches cubed. I think I'm going to skip this one. Yeah, it's just dealing with some more problems, problem solving, same kind of stuff. So that's pretty much it for this one. Just have to know this theorem right here, that the ratio of the side lengths is A over B, the ratio of the areas is A squared over B squared, and the ratio of the volumes is A cubed over B cubed.